Hey everyone, Kaisho, welcome to my daily Euskera practice. I've been feeling a little lost today with what to do with my studies because I've been working so hard studying for my quiz, for my BAS class, and I just submitted that. So I'm really glad I did it early, so I came back the next day and I had time to look it over. And indeed, I had made quite a few mistakes towards the end. I got a little careless. Um, so I was able to kind of catch those, send it off to my teacher. And I sent her an email and was like, look, there's some blank spots in this quiz, especially in the vocabulary section. And I explained to her, I was like, it's not because I didn't try. It's not because like I forgot to complete the entire thing. It's just I, you know, since we're doing online learning, like it's, I mean, it's an open book test essentially, right? Like I could have just looked up the answers, but I wanted to use this quiz as like an actual like marker of where I'm at in my studies and where I need to improve and not. So um, I was scared that if I went back and filled in those answers, like I wouldn't remember which ones I knew and which ones I researched. So I just left it blank, whatever. My teacher seemed to understand that line of thinking, which I appreciate. So now today, like, the quiz is done, so what do I do with my life? Like, obviously there is so much more to learn, but um, that's a big milestone completed. So I figure, I mean, the grind don't stop. I gotta keep learning. And in this case, I don't wanna move ahead to the next section of my coursework um, because we have all of the materials ahead of time. I could very easily do that. But I wanna take, you know, the next few days before my Osketa class to just keep going with the revision because it's good for me. So I'm gonna leave the new stuff for the teacher to teach me and just keep going with the materials that I've already looked at. So today I figure I'm gonna go back to my Ariane A11 beginner's workbook. Um, I picked this up in Elcar, a bookstore in the old town of Donostia, San Sebastian in the Basque country. So you comment below and ask me where you can get it like it's it's not on Amazon as far as I know um, so I'm go I'm in only unit two of this beginners booklet I'm at the end of it though I've got one page left I guess I stopped before getting into unit three so I figure I'll do this it's a dialogue that you just need to fill out fill in the I think it's mostly verbs that are missing so fill in the blanks this is something I've been doing a lot <laughs> this is something I've been doing you know for a year now since I've started learning Basque so hopefully it'll be okay all right so here we got two characters Kaisho Ama Sermodus Saude hi mom how are you so this is using Egon the Batois version of estar the temporary to be verb so, ser modus saude, how are you? And then Ama responds, osho ondo blank. So, we need to put in egon, and she's saying, I'm very good. So, osho ondo nago. Then we go, eta umeak, which I thought umea is a child, but if this is your mom, why are you talking about the children? Aren't you part of the children? <laughs> Uh, okay, whatever. A lot of these dialogues confuse me, and I don't know if it's because like they're just weirdly written or I'm just really lost. So okay, it's Aumeak question mark, and then she replies Umeak ere oshondo. So the children are also in this case. I think we need egon in the third person plural, which is daude. Umeak ere oshondo daude. Suek non blank. You are plural. Non is where. So I guess we're asking where are you guys? Suek non. Uh, oof. Hold on. Oh man, this is the one. I never remember the conjugation for this. I think. Um, I want to say saude. Oh, saudete is the plural, I think. Suek non. Saudete. I know Saudete is for Sue. And I think Suek is Saudete. 
then she replies, Gu orain donostian blank, comma Gipuzkoan. So we are now in Donostia, in Gipuzkoa. So the verb here again. I, is this all egon? I'm getting a vibe. Okay, so Gu orain uh, donostian gaude, Gipuzkoan. And she goes, Eta nolakoa blank Donostia. Oh gosh, nola is how? No. How is it? Nola? I th oh, nola koa. Ooh, I don't, I'm sure I've seen this before, but. Eta and nola koa blank Donostia. I think she's asking, so like, what's it like? What's Donostia like? In this case, cat, always here for moral support. Oh, great, now he's got his tail on my workbook. Okay, eta nolakoa blank donostia. Okay, I'm not sure about nolakoa, but I think he's asking, she's asking how how is donostia, what's it like? In that case, I think we're going back to isan, the more permanent to be. I think if you're asking what something's like, at least I learned from, from you guys and in my class in the comments, when you're asking what a person is like, like I got stuck about like someone is fat, I think I was told that descriptive words are like permanent, isan, like that's the way it is. So I'm gonna try eta nolakoa da donostian. And she replies, hirichikia blank. So again, it's a small city. So hirichikia da by na Hemen denetik blank colon dendak museoak yatecheak. So, okay, it's a small city, but here there, there's a little bit of everything stores, museums, restaurants. So, I think we're still going with. Ooh, well, it says hemen here. So, is this describing a place now and not characteristics? Ah, I hate this so much. Isan Egon. Okay. Um Hirichikia da Vaina Hemen Denetik. I wanna say it's Egon because we're describing the place now. Hemen here. Oh, I don't know. Hemen Denetik Dago or Da. Oh man. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments. I'm gonna put da go. <laughs> anyway, and then the response is eta blank hondar tsarik. And is there any beach? Obviously, come on, come on, Amma, what are you doing? We know this beaches. Okay, so that would be uh, any beach hondar tsarik, which is singular. And so eta, okay, eta, I was gonna say da hondar tsarik, that doesn't make sense. Oh man, I feel like it's one of those words like nolakoa that I don't know what it is. Eta, is there any. I don't know how to phrase this question. I think I know what it's asking me to say, but I'm not sure. I'll go to the next one. The last response is by, comma, blank, hondartzak, osho politak, blank. So yes, there are beaches. And then osho politak, dira. How, I, why am I getting confused here? I think because when I've done examples like this before to say like, there are beaches, we would go dira. So I think maybe I'm, I mean, I don't know if that's grammatically correct either, but I'm getting really confused with the blank being before hondartzarik and hondartza. So that's okay. I'm just gonna leave that blank because I have a feeling I have some very smart Ishkwalduna followers who 
might help me out with that and maybe explain why why am I confused <laughs> I don't know okay this page also has another dialogue so let's just keep it going okay the Instructions declina tu hitzak eta oshatu mari eta karmeleren arteko el karitzketa. Oh, Lord. Okay, so this is obviously I bought it in Donostia. So this is a Spanish Basque workbook. So the translation for that is declina las palabras y completa el diálogo entre mari y carmele, which I appreciate because I didn't understand that last part. <laughs> um, about the dialogue. I don't think I've learned the, the word for dialogue there. <laughs> okay, but focus, here we go. Bye, Norda? Question mark, yes. Nor, who is it, Norda? Caixo Carmele, Mari, nice. Caixo Mari, ser modus saudete. Hey Mary, how are you guys? Oshoondo, gu donostia, blank, gaude. Very good. We are in Donostia, so Donostian Gaude. Gu ere Donostia blank Gaude. So I think we're also saying we too are in Donostia. So same thing. Gu ere Donostian Gaude. Alde Sahar blank Gaude. Um, so that's saying we are in the old town. So Alde Saharan. Yeah. Gaude. Suek non saldete. Where are you guys? Okay. Hotel blank Gaude. Uh, we're saying we are in the hotel. Ho hmm. Hotelan? Hotelean. Hotela is. Yeah. <laughs> Hotelan Gaude. Hotel blank Pio the seventh Aren Plaza. No, sorry, Pio 12th. Wow, I don't know Noman Rumerals. Noman Rumerals? Oh my gosh, it's been a long day. Hotel Blank Pio Hamabiaren Plaza Blank Dago. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're saying hotel whatever. The hotel in the Plaza of Pius the 12th. <laughs> So, Hotela Pio Hamabiaren Plasan Dago. It's in, we're in the hotel. It, the hotel is in Pio Hamabiaren Plasa. I think, yeah. <laughs> okay, Hotel Blank, Balago Yateche Blank, question mark. Okay, oh gosh, I, oh, I still get nervous with questions because I think I jumped into my Euskera class like late. I didn't start in the beginning with everyone else. So I must have missed the units on like how to form a question, how to phrase a question because I like I never got taught the right order for this. So every time I say a question, especially with the ba dago, like ba ra in front of words that I recognize, I'm still not 100% sure why i think it's like if it's a yes or no question I, maybe that's so wrong like why is it not dago maybe this is why i got messed up on the last exercise because i was supposed to use something like this and i don't know what it is okay so hotel blank badago ya teche blank so what is she asking here um does the hotel have a restaurant is there a restaurant in the hotel? Is that what we're asking? Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> um, okay, so how would we say that? Hotel. Uh, so if we're saying, is there a restaurant in the hotel? Hotelan Badago Yatechia? Yatechia Rik? Is there any restaurant? Da ah, gosh, why is oh, this should be so straightforward? And I don't know. Okay, next one. Bye, badago yateche blank. So yes, 
There is a restaurant. So, bye Badago Yatechea. I'm starting to think this Badago is probably what I was supposed to do in the last dialogue. It seems very common here. It's not something I know though. Okay, eta nolako blank da. Okay, we just saw this nolako in the last dialogue. I wasn't so sure about that either. But I think we're asking, and how is it? And, and since I really haven't seen this word before, I don't know how to do this. But in the last dialogue, it was for sure nolakoa. So I'm just gonna go with that. Eta nolakoa da? Question mark. Yateche blank osho polit blank da. Eta yanari blank osho on blank da. Okay, so we're saying the restaurant is very pretty, polita, um, and the food is very good. So yatechea, the restaurant is very pretty, osho polita da. Eta yanaria, the food is very good. Osho onada. Osho ondo, echaron hor. I don't know what that means. In parentheses, it says in Spanish, esperad aji, which I think means wait there. And then it ends, ser ondo, quiero arte. Ser ondo. Well, is that like que bueno? Like what good? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't really directly translate to English, but I can see how that works in Spanish. Uh, Get arte, see you later. Oh, holy Lord, holy Lord. I feel like, why do I start these revision exercises being like, oh, this is beginner stuff, it should be very easy, and then I get into it, and I'm like, oh, it's not, though. <sighs> I feel like learning Basque would be so much easier, less stressful, less pressure, if I just like reframed my thinking that it should be a certain type of way. Like I have these ideas like I should be getting this faster because I spent my whole life listening to my father speak Basque. Like I should know what this word means because I saw it before once or twice in a couple of exercises. Like I have so many like is it a limiting belief? Like I have so many thoughts in my head about like how I want this learning process to go and how I want it to be. And it's very different from the actual reality when I sit down and do it. So I think that's what's really interesting to me to like sit down and like document this practice of learning Nosqueda is because like I can see and I can hear myself like where this cognitive dissonances you know like between the like the way it should be and the way it is and I feel like that causes the most stress and struggle in this whole thing like if I if I just went into it like I went into my Tagalog studies studying Filipino if I just went into it and be like I don't know anything like teach me let's have this be a journey of discovery you know but instead I put so much pressure on myself because my father freaking speaks Basque and I've been doing this class for like a year, I feel like I should be so much more advanced than I am and it's frustrating. But what are you gonna do? It is what it is. And the only way it's gonna get easier is if I just keep doing it and never give up, <laughs> right? Persistence is the way. Um, so whatever, I'll just keep letting these high pressure thoughts come into my head and, and out of my mouth like it is what it is. But at the end of the day, I'm here and I did it. <laughs> well, really, I did half of it because like some of it I was lost. But oh, anyway, it's just it's been a day, guys. So thank you for why am I getting emotional about this? My God, what is this? Episode 22. I'm losing it. <laughs> Oh man, I knew there would be an emotional breakdown at some point in this journey. There's, there would be tears. I didn't think it would be on like week three though. This is a bit soon. <laughs> but again, it is what it is. Why do I keep judging myself? <sighs> Good job, Amory. You're here. You're doing it. And that's, that's just got to be enough. <laughs> All right. Enough of this. I don't know what I have planned for tomorrow or the day after, but eventually 
I will have my Basque class and we will get the quiz back. We will correct it together and we'll see where I'm at with that. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this journey. Thank you if you wanna help me out in the comments in advance, I appreciate that. If you have any questions for me about why I'm doing this, what I'm doing, um, feel free to leave those in the comments and I'll answer in a future video. And please, as always, like, subscribe, comment. Yeah, all of it helps my videos show up in the search results and maybe, you know, if I show up more in the search results, I will find other Anglos trying to learn Basque and we can struggle together. <laughs> I mean, I've already found you guys, obviously, but you know, it's nice to have a, a village to help me out. So I appreciate you being here. Thank you for your support. I will see you in the next video. Quiero arte.